is a common question people have all the time. So one of the things to understand about food allergy is that food allergy is mediated by what's called an IgE immune reaction, and that causes an immediate response. So if you get exposed to a food that you have an allergy to, you should notice symptoms right away. Now, a food sensitivity is different. A food sensitivity is generated by a delayed response. They use different antibodies, IgG, IgM, IgA. And the problem with food sensitivities are you have a really hard time figuring out what they are until you do some diagnostic laboratory testing. So when it comes to figuring out how you react to food, it's important to know whether you have food allergy or food sensitivity and what kind of appropriate testing is involved. In the food sensitivity solving the puzzle course, I'll feature a series of how to do, do videos and additional materials and uh, different pieces of information that will help you absorb the latest science and clinical applications of food intolerances in a way you can immediately put it to use right away. I'll we'll walk you through the physiology of food sensitivities, how the immune system is designed to respond to foods, and a step-by-step -step tour of how the dietary proteins impact your immune response. We'll also explore how food preparation and processing themselves can cause sensitivities, such as food coloring and other additives, genetically modified foods, hybridized foods, modern food processing practices, the way foods are stored, and so on. So if you're tired of being confused of how food sensitivities and allergies, visit the link below, learn more about our program called Food Sensitivities, Solving the Puzzle, and Decoding Your Food Intolerance.